Okay, now the, the driver of a pickup truck going 100 km per hour applies uh, the brake, applies the brakes, uh, giving the truck a uniform deceleration of 6.5 meter per second square while it travels uh, 20 meter. Uh, what is the speed of the truck in meter per second at the end of this distance? Okay, what information given? We have uh, the initial velocity. This is the initial velocity, but uh, in uh, the, the the unit is not SI unit. You you need to change it to meter per second. Yeah, always change the unit to SI unit meter per second. Okay, so giving the truck a uniform deceleration of six point five. Okay, bear in mind this is deceleration. So uh, this one is actually the acceleration, okay? So uh, what is the sign of this acceleration? Is it positive or negative? Uh, how to know? Uh, okay, follow this way. Yeah? This, uh, first of all, we look at the initial velocity. The, the initial velocity is positive, okay? Here we see that the initial velocity is uh, positive, uh, I mean going to the right, yeah? Uh, positive uh, 100 understand uh, positive 100 kilometer okay 100 ki this initial velocity is positive 100 kilometer per hour okay uh, and then he say this car decelerates uh, the important thing is he say this car decelerate uh, so, what do you think should be the sign of the acceleration? Acceleration. Decelerate, that means the velocity and acceleration should be in opposite direction. If the velocity, initial velocity is positive, then the acceleration you need to put negative. Okay? So, uh, the initial velocity is positive and he says that uh, the object decelerate, the car decelerate, that means uh, the velocity and acceleration need to be in opposite direction. Uh, need to be opposite direction. The velocity is positive, so acceleration need to be negative. Acceleration need to be negative. Uh, okay, so uh, negative uh, 6.5 meter per second square. Right? Because we learned before about uh, the concept. Uh, where is it? Uh, let me look at it. Uh. Ah, still remember about this, this, this one? Okay, when the object decelerate, uh, the velocity and acceleration, they have opposite sign. If velocity is positive, acceleration negative. If, if velocity is negative, acceleration need to be positive, uh, need to be opposite. Uh, don't think uh, decelerate means A must be negative. No, uh, it is the, if object decelerate, the, you need to compare with the velocity. Okay, one of it must be positive, another one must be negative. They must have opposite sign. Okay, right now, our let's look back to our uh, these uh, questions. Okay, uh, look back to our uh, sorry, not this. Okay, these questions. Okay, right now our velocity is positive. Okay, positive and decelerate means velocity and acceleration need to be opposite direction. So one must be positive, another one must be negative. They must have opposite sign. So A, you must put negative sign. Okay? Uh, but in terms, if you your velocity, let's say if your velocity is, let's say your velocity is uh, negative this time, yeah? let's say your velocity is negative and the object decelerate, uh, then what sign should you put for your acceleration? Uh, it's not negative, you must put your uh, acceleration to be positive to be they they need to be opposite sign to have deceleration okay uh, so don't say that oh deceleration means a must always negative no it depend on the velocity you must compare with velocity okay so this time velocity is positive so one positive another one must be negative must have opposite sign okay i write it over here they must have um they must have uh, this must have opposite uh, okay i just want to drag this down uh, they must have opposite sign in order to uh, decelerate 
uh, in order to have deceleration. Okay, so um, now and then here it says it travels 20 meters. So this is the displacement. So what is the speed of the truck in meter per second at the end? End of the distance. So this is the final velocity we need to find. So meter per second, that means I want in SI unit meter per second. Uh, so you need to change just now the kilometer per hour, you need to change to meter per second, the SI unit. Okay. So uh, what formula can we use for uh, question A? Uh, so we have the U, we have U, we have A. Uh, yeah, the A is negative, negative. Yeah, remember? The A here, uh, you need to uh, put it as uh, A equal to negative 6.5. Yeah, negative 6.5. And we have displacement. Uh, find the V. So V U A S, uh, the formula V U A S, which is a voice, which is V. Uh, what formula is it? V square equal to U square plus 2 A S. Uh, don't get the formula wrong. Okay. Uh, but uh, first of first and foremost, you must change the velocity into meter per second first. Must always change to SI unit first. Okay, so U is equal to hundred uh, kilometer per hour. So make it into fraction hundred kilometer per one hour. Okay, we know that uh, kilo is the kilo is exponent three. All right, and then um. The hour is uh, one hour is three thousand six hundred second, yeah, because we know that one hour is sixty minute times sixty second, okay. Uh, all right, so just convert one hour to second. Ah, uh, so uh, now we can calculate this one and see, yeah. All right, so it is uh, velocity is twenty seven point uh, seven. Uh, better make it more decimal place. 778 uh, meter per second okay so now we can substitute this uh, value into the equations uh, okay 27.778 square plus 2 acceleration is uh, uh, remember uh, acceleration has negative sign okay uh, 6.5 and then displacement yeah don't put the acceleration uh, positive huh? If you put acceleration positive, then wrong already. Uh, yeah, because deceleration, when velocity positive, uh, one positive, one must be negative. And one negative, another one must be positive. Yeah, that way. Okay, so the displacement is 20 meter. Uh, it's in meter and SI unit. So no need to change anything. So uh, finally, what's the answer you get for velocity? Remember, this one has a, has a square at the top. Okay, this one has a square at the top here. So when you do, when you find velocity, you remember you must have square root. Uh, so what answer do you get? Okay, so the velo final velocity is uh, 22.619. Uh, uh, 22.619 meter per second. Uh, that's the, um, of course, uh, you must uh, uh, make, better make it in two decimal place. Yeah, final answer in two decimal place. This is 62 meter per second, right? Okay, we got the answer. Now, how much time has elapsed? So, the question now, I will ask to find time taken. So, uh, what formula is the best? Yeah, we have uh, you, uh, better use the information given rather than use something you got in, at the, uh, in the middle. So, we have U, A, S, T. Uh, so, what formula? Or we can just use the board, yeah? Uh, we can actually have several ways to do it. We can either use, um, you know, we can use a formula uh, V U A T, okay, uh, what, which is uh, V equal to U plus A T. This is a much simpler um, uh, equations. Or we also can use the formula Sutat. Uh, we can use a formula Sutat, which is S equal to U T plus half. A T square. You also can find the time taken. So it seems that this formula is easier. Uh, why not we use this one? Okay. So the final velocity is uh, twenty two point six two. The initial velocity is um, initial velocity is twenty seven point seven seven eight. 
uh, 27.778 and uh, acceleration uh, what's the acceleration uh, negative 6.5 okay uh, plus remember uh, you must have the negative sign yeah a negative sign uh, 6.5 and then time taken okay so this one just uh, another method okay you can use either one Okay, so what's the answer you get for your time taken? Let's find out. Okay, so the answer is 0 0.79 second. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. So, the question A, answer is 22.62 meter per second. That's correct. For question B, the time taken is 0 0.79 second. Okay, that's correct also. Okay, uh, so that's it.